One of the things being considered, in fact, we think is actually going to happen. It's on the front of the Times today. Uh, trust to cut stamp duty in push for prosperity. Two Whitehall sources say that cuts to stamp duty with the rabbit in the mini budget. I think it's a rabbit out of the hat rather than caught in the headlights or whatever else it is. That, well, but the other thing we know that rabbits do, but we won't get bogged down in that. Carol Lewis is the deputy property editor of the Times to try and explain. Carol, is this a good idea? Now, I, and I freely say I'm not an economist, <laughs> but if you cut stamp duty, don't you just increase demand for houses? Therefore, unless you increase the supply of houses by building more of them, you just put up prices. Exactly. Exactly what you do. And demand was just cooling after two crazy years of house prices where we've seen prices go up by more than 10% a year in, in much of the country, in part fueled by Rishi Sunak's stamp duty holiday. Um, now, we don't know much detail whether it's temporary, permanent, this cut, but it could well stoke the market back up just as demand was starting to cool. It would save the average buyer in England about 5500 Now, it's worth remembering Scotland and Wales have separate stamp duty transaction taxes and their governments would have to decide whether to follow or not uh, to whatever trust announces on Friday. But buyers would be caught between high interest rates and a high cost of living and a tax cut. And as you say, this could push <laughs> prices up, which will mean that the Bank of England will have to push interest rates up. So we get into this spiral of... Which then pushes up mortgage yeah, costs. Yeah, which pushes up mortgage costs. So you're in a pincer movement. So I think it could very well raise, raise prices in the short term because sellers will see that buyers have a bit more money. Buyers will have a bit more money to bid on houses. So you will see prices go up. But eventually higher interest rates and cost of living will crunch with house prices. They will just become unaff uh, unaffordable and we will see uh, prices come off. I just think it delays that point. It does do house rising house prices, if you do that, if you just sort of fuel demand and your prices mm -hmm. go up because, you know, there's a limited supply, does that all feed into the overall economic figure? Do you sort of, is it possible to create sort of noticeable levels of growth in the economy just through doing that? Well, there's, there's two measures of inflation, consu consumer price index and consumer price index housing. The second has things in the like the direct costs of buying and selling and renting. The former doesn't, but the former is influenced by it. When you move home, you are more likely to buy a new fridge, a new sofa, uh, employ a decorator, do home improvements. So that so does start feed into that. Yes. So it sort of spreads out. It's got its the economy. own economy around it. Yes. Now it could be they target these cuts. We don't know that, but they might target them, say, towards downsizers, which would help free up some family homes which we're desperately in need of. Um, so that that might help, but it would mean the people who are downsizing are going to need somewhere to go and live. Yeah. And we've got a shortage there of, say, two-bedroom properties because you've got all your first-time buyers and buy-to-let landlords And actually, probably the lack of somewhere to move is the bigger hurdle big for people downsizing. Ni a smaller, nice place to live is the bigger problem rather than worrying about stamp duty because if you've got to release all this wealth out of your house you could probably afford the stamp duty exactly I mean, i've had this with my mum she's she's in a three-bedroom semi but three-bedroom semis cost less than two-bedroom bungalows because they're in such short supply yeah, yeah. and everyone wants them and so, so yeah so, you, so it's not <laughs> the thing that's stopping her moving isn't the, no, it's the supply. level of stamp duty it's supply. it's supply that that is the big problem but at least I'm not, i don't feel like i'm mad even though um you've explained that what I thought was the case was the case. Yes, I mean, Andrew Bailey must be hitting his head against the wall when he saw the paper this morning. <laughs> Give the back of evil. Well, maybe, or maybe if it's part of a broader package, then maybe it might be different. But we'll see.